Well, we're back here now on Focus on Five, and joining me again is Ryan Gregory. He's an artist. He's from Flint here, but he's doing a massive project that will install a sculpture in downtown Saginaw. You want to tell us a little bit about it? It's a steel trellis type structure with uh, uh, aluminum reflective embellishments. It's a uh, steamship themed and kind of like the history of Saginaw is it's like steamships kind of ah. started up the river and sure. brought a lot of the industry changed and evolved to what it is now. It's a steel, like it's what's behind me. Yeah. But this will all be assembled into a form. I have some plans here that kind ah. of better describes it. It's gonna be like a garden uh, ceremonialist kind ah, of like sure. meeting space. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It's a nice park place yeah. to be. That's cool. Now, how did it feel for you when you were, you know, anointed to be the person to make this structure? I'm sure they had yeah. to feel like yeah. a big accomplishment. Pretty unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Pretty unbelievable. I, I really didn't believe it was going to happen until I was like, you got to yeah. get the stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> why, was it why was it important for you to participate in that and to kind of help kids foster that sense of art? I think it's just important for learning to make sure. things and mm -hmm. feeling empowered that you can do anything. If somebody doesn't ever take the freedom of an art mentality mm -hmm. approach to something, yeah. then they're always going to feel like there's a certain way that they have to do a certain thing. And right. you kind of don't invent a lot of new methods or come up with your own ways. And sure. I think the best, the biggest discoveries you make are the ones, the ones that last the longest, Yeah, are yeah. the ones that you find out on your own almost by accident. Now, is there any feeling that you get when you see your own art around wherever your mini pieces are? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know. I wish I could have done that better or, or learned this thing that I learned uh, afterwards and uh -huh. then done that or, uh, but it, it's cool. I like to see people uh, sure. randomly see pictures of people like, hey, look at <laughs> this thing. This is really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you came up with the drawings yourself. How did you come up with the concept of building this structure um, itself? Just kind of looking at like the designs of steamships and mm. the history of Saginaw and yeah. thinking about something that would go into, I mean, I could have done like more of a direct translation of a steamship. Sure. But I wanted to do something that was kind of more of like an enclosure kind of mm. meeting space. Sure. So, and I knew I wanted to work with acrylic. Mm -hmm. There's going to be acrylic lenses in parts of this, like this one nice. here. And that's kind of a mixture of this kind of design. Uh huh. Thinking of that kind of flow mm -hmm. and, uh, materials that I could work with and what sure. I could actually do as one person. You know. Yeah, sure. Now, is this project nostalgic for you in any kind of way? Because, you know, you've been through a long journey as an artist and then now you've been asked to build this structure in downtown Saginaw. Yeah, I guess I, it is nostalgic. I feel like it's uh, it's taken on something bigger than I ever thought I would yeah. would do with, with mm -hmm. art. And I've done bigger pieces before. I had a piece of a Pegasus and Art Prize for Grand Rapids one year mm -hmm. and uh, regional Burning Man events. But this is a permanent thing that I, yeah. I just, I'm still kind of realizing <laughs> yeah. and this is a thing that's going there forever. And, yeah, um, yeah. It'll be cool. Right, the power of your artistry, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. cool. Well, Ryan, thank you so much. I wish you the best of luck. Any idea when there may be an installation sometime next um, year, maybe? That, that'd be at the, at the latest. It would be like springtime. Ah. But I'm really racing trying to get something, depending on the weather and everything. Sure. If everything can go, uh -huh. then I'm hoping we can get it in there at like the end of the month. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for telling us about who you are as an artist and this wonderful piece that you're working on. So thank you for inviting us to check it all out. Yeah. Thanks for coming.